Hi everyone, welcome to Future Become. In this video, I'll explain how Tesla is about to destroy the airline's business as we know it. Let's begin. Faster flight for less money has long been a pipe dream, especially in the 1980s. At the time, the Concorde was heralded as a plane that would control the 21st century. A flight from New York to London on a normal airplane takes roughly 7 hours. In the Concorde, this voyage would take only 3.5 hours. However, as we all know, this plane had other problems. Fuel was expensive and limited the range. The plane was also extremely loud, causing locals to become irritated when Concorde flew overhead. Furthermore, the plane was believed to be harming the ozone layer. Hope for a supersonic flight was immediately dashed. But what if I told you that a new supersonic jet is on its way? This is where Elon Musk's supersonic vertical takeoff and landing jet, which he has been dreaming of developing for years, comes into play. At some point, um, I have a design in mind for an electric supersonic vertical takeoff and landing plane. And I think there's a particular opportunity for um, a supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. Supersonic uh, electric jet. Vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. A supersonic electric vertical takeoff and landing jet. We've watched the move to electric vehicle pick up speed. EVs are faster, less expensive to maintain, and on track to become less expensive than internal combustion engines. We've never seen the switch to electric planes even begin when it comes to planes. This is mostly due to the energy density limitation of contemporary batteries. Batteries cannot currently fuel a plane for the duration of a flight. Even with EVs, we've reached a point where a single charge won't suffice for a long road trip. Tesla, on the other hand, has been working on a battery with significantly more density than prior lithium-ion batteries. Many battery specialists believe that at 400 watt hours per kilogram, Batteries are dense enough to allow vertical takeoff and landing. VTOL, or vertical takeoff and landing, is exactly what it sounds like. The capacity to fly a drone-like aircraft straight up and land. Many military aircraft use this technique, which is especially useful in situations where there isn't enough room for horizontal takeoff. Elon Musk has suggested that a compelling airplane only requires roughly 400 watts per kilogram, assuming that the cell percentage on the aircraft is high. It doesn't have to be anywhere like a high as a rocket, but if it's around a kilogram, you can get a respectable range. 400 watts hours per kilogram with a long cycle life and high production volume is not far away and will most likely occur in 3 to 4 years. In addition, he has a concept for a VTOL jet and is ready to build one as soon as battery density permits. Now, have you ever looked at planes and gone, I could fix this? I just don't have the time. No. Busy I have a design for a plane. You do? Yes. A better design? I mean, probably. I think it is. Yes. Who have you talked to about this? And I've talked to friends. Friends? And friends and... I'm your friend. Girlfriends and... You can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? What's going on? Well, I mean, the exciting thing to do would be some sort of electric vertical takeoff and landing supersonic jet of some kind. Vertical takeoff and landing meaning no need for a runway. Just shoot up straight yeah. in the air and then... So we know Elon has a concept for a Tesla VTOL plane. The Concorde failed to become popular for three main reasons. As I mentioned at the start of this video, fuel was expensive. The plane was noisy, and the gas harmed the ozone layer. All three of these concerns are addressed by Tesla's future electric plane. For one thing, energy is significantly cheaper than fuel, and at worst, will have a minimal cost while flying at regular speeds with gas planes. Furthermore, as proved by electric vehicles, electric is far quieter than engines. Because electric vehicles are so quiet, there have been serious discussions about requiring all electric vehicles to have phony engine sounds. So if I were to go down here now and shift it into drive, I'll be quiet, you're, you're going to hear this kind of hum. Okay. 
Furthermore, I'm confident that everyone would be considerably happier if they didn't have to listen to this noise for the whole of the flight. Additionally, because the plane is powered by electricity, there would be little if any damage to the ozone layer. When it comes to electric planes, all of these factors make perfect sense. When it comes to gas-powered flights, the higher you go, the less efficient the jet becomes. But with electric planes, the higher you go, the more efficient the plane becomes. Elon Musk has talked about this before and it's worth paying attention to since it has tremendous potential. Like the, I think the optimal sort of air transport solution is a VTOL uh, electric supersonic plane. Um, and, and it actually works together quite well for a, a bunch of reasons. Um, uh, in, in, in particular, the higher you go, the, the better the electric, the more efficient the electric aircraft is. Whereas if you have a combustion aircraft, as you, as you get higher, it, get, it tends to get worse. Because uh, you have a kind of a fixed aperture uh, and... Uh, Air scoop. Yeah, like the, the engine is, uh, the hole in the front of the engine is, 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 is a fixed size. And so you have to pick a particular cruising altitude. And so you've got to figure out how do you uh, get the right amount of air at sea level all the way through really high altitude. Um, and then you've got this issue of super, supersonic combustion that you know you see you end up having to slow the air down, and, and it ends up being um, not, not that efficient. But an electric after aircraft would just get better and better as as it got uh, higher. Electric aircraft become more efficient as they travel higher in altitude, allowing for supersonic speeds far faster than you can imagine. As you climb higher, the air becomes thinner, resulting in less air resistance. This theory is similar to what Elon stated in the previous clip, in that engines must find a way to get the right amount of air to operate efficiently. This is not the case with electric airplanes. As the plane rises in altitude, there is less air resistance, allowing the plane to travel faster and faster. This is why flying faster in the space is considerably easier than in the atmosphere. Elon described this when he proposed his Hyperloop idea, which aims to build a supersonic train that runs through a tunnel. In order to go really fast with a plane, you have to climb pretty, pretty high because the atmosphere just looks like molasses when you're going fast. Uh, so you, you, you know, for distances certainly under 500 miles, you spend all your time just ascending and descending, and you don't really get an opportunity to spend time at cruise. Uh, so something like the Hyperloop can comp complete really well in that arena because uh, you, you instantly, or very, almost instantly, enter a low-pressure environment. Given the early stage of the technology, estimating the speed of an electric plane is extremely challenging. In terms of miles per hour, Rolls-Royce has been working on an electric plane that might travel up to 300 miles per hour, but Tesla could easily outperform it with far superior battery technology and design. When a new technology enters the market, the long-dominant corporation must make a decision. Do they invest heavily in technology? Or will they continue to do what they've been doing for years? The majority of the time, long-dominant corporations will opt for a second option, risking becoming outdated, like Nokia and Blockbuster did. Given the frequency with which this occurs, Boeing and Airbus may be impacted very soon. Elon feels this is true because, properly so, firms have grown exceedingly risk-averse. Until you're disrupted, the plan makes sense. Well, it seems unlikely to come from Boeing or Airbus, given that they seem to be focused on very incremental improvements to the planes as opposed to radical improvements get dense enough to allow supersonic flights, an electric plane starts to make sense. Furthermore, Tesla's mission has always been to expedite the world's transition to renewable energies, which requires the firm to disrupt airplanes. Do you think Boeing or Airbus will pick up on this technology? Or do you believe Tesla will surprise the existing aviation industry with a groundbreaking VTOL plane? Leave us a comment. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any of our content, consider subscribing and click the bell button. Once again, this has been Future Become. Thanks for stopping by. 
we'll see each other again in the next video. Take care.